Sorry. Just want to point that out. All right, but with that, time to move on. So I guess I do actually have some things I can talk about. Completely missing the whole tournament. Oops. So I have gone. Th oh, by the way, world map suddenly looks autumn. I think it's a pretty neat touch. Don't really get it anywhere else. Anyway, and besides Legacy of Goku 2. Anyway, <laughs> so I guess in the story from the Dragon Ball Z, I have actually done some stuff. I have read the entirety of the Goku Black arc now, and holy shit, yeah, it's. I can't even really begin to describe how much better it is from the from the anime because the anime for Dragon Ball Super is or like, well, I guess the anime for Dragon Ball Super is still really hit and miss. That was a lot of shit, obviously, but the Goku Black arc is still like the most decent part about the anime, in my opinion, for the most part, until the bullshit ending, and with uh, bastardizing Zamasu's character uh, completely at the very end, anyway. But the manga does such a good uh, service to Goku Black and Zamasu as a whole. Like, holy crap, dude. They nixed the mystery aspect of it a little bit, which saddens me a tad, but like, god damn it, it's so much better in a whole uh, because of that. Okay, such of evasion. We're fighting Deborah, so... Deborah has more of his Shin Budokai elements, aka he's got the spear, he can toss it out, I think he's got big... He can use the spear as a physical weapon as well, so yeah. Oh my god, also... <laughs> Deborah ca uh, caused Trunks to go Super Saiyan 2. I thought I fucking quick dodged that. I guess not. Okay. So I'm railroaded into having transformation. So I'm assuming I because this game is super fucking lenient. Ah, I thought I held that. Oh, this could be a bit difficult. Bro, these cancels though. Gee, holy shit. <laughs> Hang on. Okay, I actually need to play kind of, like kind of seriously. Confirms. Ah, uh, I thought I equipped soaring dragon strike. Damn it! Wait, did I? Ah well, but yeah, no. Gohan also has access to keep blast cannon. You probably know know that as his five ass from uh. I should have gone through that. What the hell is happening right now? Jesus Christ! Well, I guess I'm, I'm about to eat Hell Rush. Or right. yeah, oopsie. Okay, well, I can tank it. It's not a huge deal, but Jesus Christ! Yeah, 700. Okay. Oh God, it took forever to recover from that one. I mean, I guess I can still use it as like a faster key blast punish. Ooh, okay. Come on. No, what? No super? What the fuck? <laughs> where's my su Where's my super command man? I should have had enough key for that. I am all sorts of bamboozled right now. What is going on? Weird. Well, I guess, I guess, yeah. I'm gonna endeavor to do better and pay more attention with uh, Super Boo. Who, actually, no, wait, I'm pretty sure we do actually fight Majibu next. No more gargantuan stats, luckily. Oh! How did I forget that? Shit, hang on. I actually have a, a much better combo strength I could be doing right now. That. That's a decent combo uh, I managed to come up with because uh, the five punches that he did, has off of his default string is actually fairly fu It leaves you at like plus frames. So that's pretty good. Okay, there we go. Also, I did see Alex's comment. This is the fastest Budokai game I've seen yet, or fast Dragon Ball Z game, I think it was. See, the game can be as fast or as slow as you want it to be. Like, for me, inherently, it's like I'm trying not to get lost in the sauce of this game. Where it's like, teleport, 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 I don't even know who I'm hitting anymore. Am I punching in the right direction? I don't know, I'm just going with instinct. I try to play like that, I try to feel a lot more like distance and like responding to what the opponent does. So that's the way I try to keep it. Ah, there we go, switch back to Goku now, hopefully, yay, okay. <laughs> not fucked up, not fucked in the woods just yet, good. Yeah, we're gonna bully the fuck out of him. Majin Vegeta is... I mean, he's not too terribly different from this game. 
I feel like there was other changes he had, he's had, but it's kind of whatever. Anyway, time to, time to return to the same old, uh, everyone's favorite fight for some reason in the show, which, I mean, it's neat to go out swinging out of the gate, but, I mean, this is also a huge diamond on both Goku and Vegeta for realizing that fighting each other is going to completely fuel Majin Buu or, and resuscitate him. I mean, I imagine it's more also Vegeta and, and Goku underestimating how vastly powerful Buu can be, which, I mean, I get it. But this is two Super Saiyan 2s fueling him, so, yeah. Also, this is all my honor. Your debt must be paid. I this doesn't age well the more I look at it. So that's how you feel. Like, okay. So be it. Up until now, Goku, uh, Vegeta's always been like a more of like a chaotic neutral character, sometimes with pretensions of chaotic good. Like, chaotic good at the start of this show for sure, or start of the Boo arc for sure. Oh, there's where that back kick came from. Uh, his right uh, heavy attack from uh, Tengaichi. The stances are back, kind of, okay. <laughs> we're, we're Addies. So, but like, Vegeta should at least realize that, like, uh, what, what, he was, uh, he's upset about Goku being stronger than him continuously, and like, oh wow, he was swinging for, for fucking uh, bleachers with that one. Sorry, gotta get optimal punish. <laughs> oh my god! No, I haven't done yet. This could be scaled heavily, I can already tell. Yeah, he's gonna teleport. Yeah, I would've. Oh my god. I just... <laughs> he just deleted three health bars from him. God, this is really neat. Remember, that's not all unfair, but here's the thing. When the opponents are put into a stun state... Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, look. It's probably for the better Vegeta to not know about the fact that Goku can go Super Saiyan 3 at the time, because he would've been a little bit upset about that. I just found it funny how I actually got that. I was going for Super Saiyan 4. Alright. Sorry, going quiet. Oh my god, I haven't done it yet. Oh yeah, Goku also has another new move. Not only just his back punch fist, which I never do because I always forget to fucking do it. I'm also transfixed on this shit. Kaboom. Um, let's see, what was I thinking about? Yeah. Like, there have been instances where Go Vegeta has been stronger than Goku. Um, would Vegeta really have not expected Goku to be training in another world to get stronger still? Like, we kind of already established that the bar for power to start a boot arc is whoever is the strongest Gohan, Gohan when he fought Cell. It's also for that reason, uh, with being surprised at Goku being Super Saiyan 2, that I'm pretty convinced that was a catalyst to making uh, Vegeta Super Saiyan 2. Pretty sure about that. Also, for what it's worth, yeah, this cutscene, there's a lot more work being put into it for the, a for the actual uh, story, but man, it's still kind of stiff. Also, more and more convinced that this is, in fact, the, the rendering engine used for cutscenes in uh, um, uh, Heroes, yeah. Also, we really just compressed like five arcs of character development for Vegeta into this one instance, didn't we? <laughs> that was his chewing animation. We'll finish this fight when I return. If I'm still alive. God, can you imagine if Goku actually did go along with Vegeta to go fight Majin Buu? I don't think that would have won, but Goku could have at least broken out Super Saiyan 2, so that would have been kind of neat. Or Super Saiyan 2, no, 3! <laughs> this is what I meant. Uh, still, still amused, though, that uh, Vegeta was completely uh, mad about him having Super Saiyan 3, but, like, dude, you, only, you can only do it for, like, 2 or 3 minutes at, at most. Goddamn. Okay, so next up, fighting Fat Buu, obviously. The good thing is with these, with the removal, like I said before, with uh, fighting, actually no, we, we skipped Fat Boo, right. With the removal of the RPG system, we no longer have Boo with the biggest fucking defenses in human history. Oh my god, fighting him with a dog Gohan huh? Budokai 3 on, on very hard was hell, holy shit. No, it wasn't hell, it was Z2, I think. I didn't find him Z3. Yeah, that was, that was, that was bad. <laughs> okay, so, heavy blow. I think it was like probably the one build before with Goku actually. I mean, I can lower his 
more of his stats requirements, like, for supers and for teleportation to make him just better all around. But, like, going for stun loops is pretty fun. I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to whine about that. Uh, he's a little shy of one bar from below me. All right. So in this instance, because of he's putting his knockback animation, if I go for Dragon Fist now, he's gonna be put into a float state and it'll drop. So I'm just gonna go for. Well, I attempted the optimal punish, but I guess not. My one or two? I think I'm one. Yeah, that's fair. Oof. Let's try him. Oh yeah, the guard breaks. Certain attacks in this game also, when they connect, they are immediate guard breaks. So, slight pain in the dick. Oops. Oh god, the drops. Hang on. Oh fuck, I was trying to armor through that. Or not armor through it, I was trying to use Super Saiyan, uh, the transformation to pop it. Uh, this is gonna suck. Actually, not really. I don't think this attack does that much damage, actually. Hopefully. Maybe. Fucking pink! Very pretty explosion though, like one of the best in the game. 1,000 flat, are you kidding me? Jesus. All right, this might work. Nope, okay, just completely dropped. And stunned. I'm still really not a fan of the Dizzy State because it's because of the, w the way it works, it's really geared towards whoever has the advantage is going to start, is going to win even harder in this game. It's not necessarily that I believe every single fighting game should have like X-Factor comebacks, obviously. Because that's stupid, but like. I think there should be a level of like consistency to like if you're the one losing, like you have more options. Versus, this is one of the reasons why I actually don't like Street Fighter fundamentally. Sorry, I just did my nose. I'm not pausing to make a rant. <laughs> not quite there yet. But like, this is one of the reasons I fundamentally don't really like Street Fighter like 4 or 5 as a whole. Like, the whole idea of a, like a dizzy system, it like it overly rewards. I feel like aggressive play or like opponents who keep making mistakes. And like making mistakes, like yeah, obviously you should get hit harder for it. Oh, I should go for this too. But I feel like there's a comes a point where like if you're able to coin flip someone twice and then go for a death combo with a Kuma, uh, maybe we want to ro roll it back a little bit. I'm certain there's some actual Street Fighter players in the audience right now who are probably a bit peeved with me, but I don't know. That's just honestly the way I feel. Now, of course, there's the flip side of the coin where, like, Tekken 7, you have Paul Phoenix doing 100% death combos with Rage whenever he gets it. You know, you're you're never in a life league with Paul Phoenix is a joke there. Oh, yeah, that's enough time to go for this. Lay, lay with? Nope. Okay. I don't even know what he's doing. Ah, crap. Wasn't there a charge button to teleport after them? I've, or maybe you just can't do the uh, teleport follow-ups after Dragon Fist. That honestly might be it. That That's probably the explanation right there. Okay. Do have anything else you want to talk about? Oh yeah, the, the fucking... Black Arc is amazing, seriously. It, just like the, the base reasons. What the fuck? Oh, we do do this, okay. Just for like the base reasons of the fact that you actually see Zamasu f or a few Zamasu fight hand to hand is fucking amazing and cool. Um, the the end with have having cellular mitosis uh, or cellular division of uh, Zamasu infinitely like make more of himself versus just like the weird God in the sky thing. Like that was really cool. There's just like a whole bunch of the that arc that I just feel like really does good shit that I, I'm really a big fan of, honestly. Anyway, so I'm actually gonna make him kind of physically tanky. Uh, tanky, that's what I meant to say. Ultimate power in that. Yeah. So remember, Ultimate Gohan has a power up of like 132, 135%. And with an extra 130, that's like 165. It's pretty good. It's pretty decent. God. Basic combo. He teched that back into my face so it left me unsafe. Oh my god. That was guard break. And let's coin flip him. Nope. Ooh, sidesteps. 
Or maybe I should have gone for ramping up my evasion or my my teleport cost. I have no idea. I'll take it. I was more intending to get get some actual combos on him and do damage, but hey, stunned in front of me, sure. I also have to actually make it a point to do all my ultimates with Goku before the end of this. All right, let's see what we got. Ah, drop that one. I fucked up two of the inputs. Damn it. I mean, I can still take it back. It's not a big deal. Yeah, it works too. Ah, side. Too much pushback, damn it. Actually, wait, I'm pretty sure Ultimate Gohan does have the physical hit version of the attack throw. Look at these combos, Jesus Christ. I mean, oh, okay, that was, that's boring. I could actually have beaten him. I don't know why you just want me to get him down to one health bar versus just taking him out. Okay. Oh, wait, no. That's one of the ones where it's like you have to survive for a certain amount of time, right? I think it is. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure that was the case. Sorry, I was not paying attention whatsoever to the win condition because obviously. Okay. Uh, do we take our super boo now or. Well, actually, no, there's no other option, so I kind of have to. Right. Um. If I remember this correctly, there's actually not a lot of variation for the Boo arc. It's actually like, once you complete the first time through, you're basically set, so... I can't complain too much about that. Alright, sense of being... usual stuff. Fighter's body. Okay, so if this is the first Super Boo fight, then this won't be too terrible. I probably won't have to go with raising my defenses. Uh, I'm actually gonna make my super attacks hurt harder. In fact, I'm just gonna go for power boost in general. Fuck it. So I think it might be full force, full force power. Nope. Unlimited key. Key attack power raised to 130%. I don't think that's it. It's training. Nope. My defense? No. Ah, fuck, I don't think it's any of these, actually. Ah, I'll just go with Sensor's Low Evasion. Screw it. Also, yes, the only there's only, like, maybe two cutscene instances left in the game. I think it's with Kid Buu with the Spirit Bomb, obviously, and with uh, Omega Shenron. I'm pretty sure that is the case, anyway. Oh, God. I didn't even see him do that in front of me. That's unsafe. All right. I need to actually fight him decently well. Hang on. Damn. I just I took off like two full health bars just by one from one ore burning. I'd like to point that out. Nice. Whoa, his armor did something, okay. Jesus. <laughs> I was trying to press an attack that- Oh, I have a bit of transformation, hell yeah. Or as in, I I'm not gonna lose my transformation uh, right now. That's awesome, okay, hang on. Look at him just pressing buttons out there, oh my god. I think he's trying to keep himself safe, so that way if I try to counterattack, one of his attacks will probably clip me. But I play a little more safely than that. Mm. There we go. Now let's see if I, actually, if I can actually land this for once. <laughs> I say that like I'm really beating myself up for it, but no, I only dropped like one time so far. Hang on. Oh, uh, let's be rough. Fuck me. Oh, actually, wait, no, did I get that? No, he got, he got it. Damn it. I saw more opportunities to land it, though. Or not. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Definitely want to do this on the ground. 
Wow, that jab punishment. Holy shit. Gotta really pick my spots for this one. Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> I didn't realize he still had up his had, uh, had up his sleeve, but okay. <laughs> he does have that. Oh, wait. That record's shown in the original in Budokai. I don't think so. So yeah, one. So Budokai Two was a really fun entry in the series, so much so that there was like a bunch of unique shit that was introduced to it, like free fusions with uh, Cell, Frieza, Vegeta. I think maybe one of the characters I'm not thinking of offhand. But uh, yeah, uh, I don't know why we we nixed like almost all of those. So now Super Blue can only fuse with uh, or fuse with can only absorb. Uh, go ten, uh, go tanks, Gohan or Piccolo. Oh God, that's right. Uh, I'm not winning that one. This is what it looks like when he's fu fu fused with Piccolo. I'm not exactly sure why they changed his outfit so drastically, considering he only had like the shoulder armor before. I mean, it's it's neat. Might be a bit much, but it's kind of neat regardless, I suppose. Um, that might have just been Bud the Budokai developer's way of making him more unique versus having to like Having the shoulder pads blend a little more in uh, I don't know. I'm kind of just ad-libbing this right now, but whatever